Hey buddy, it's John with Upstate Brush Control. We're up here in North Greenville, uh, not far off Tigerville Road. And uh, we're gonna, me and Josh will be doing some mulching today. So we got the E55. And then we got our 2017 RT120 with a brand new wiring harness in it. So just got it back last week. Josh ran around the shop and hopefully she's gonna be good to go. We got the Pecom with the trap door. Will and Mike are on another job with the other machine. So, uh, hey Josh. But uh, this is a repeat customer where we're at here. And uh, place has got a little history. So, well, history for me, not, I'm sure it has other history. Anyways, this spot right here, right there. That's where my old trailer was. I found it up here in the woods. It had been sitting here. It was all overgrown with weeds and you couldn't even hardly see it in there. And uh, I'll try to put some pictures in and uh, in the video here of what it looks like and what it was. And um, that was probably, I don't know, about four years ago, something like that. We got that trailer. I think, it, I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was about four years ago um something like that but I, I traded out I did the I did some mulching it took me about a day day and a half back here uh did some mulching and she the truck was it was an old Ford truck with one axle um it was the motor was locked up we just scrapped the truck we got it like three hundred dollars for the truck but the trailer we rebuilt it did all kinds of work to it and uh it got us to where we are today so i mean you can see this is not a sloppy truck and trailer now you know <laughs> so thankful and grateful um for the truck and trailer that we have now uh just a huge blessing and uh just give god the glory you know he uh won for him uh, wouldn't be where I am today. So people, if you, uh, if you're looking to get in the business or wanting to do stuff like this, you gotta go slow. You gotta take it slow. I mean, you, you can, you can try it, uh, going in, but my, my point is it, it takes time. You know, it, it took years for us to be able to get to where we are with this truck and trailer. It's not like one day I just decided to go out and buy this. It's something we've been planning for years. Uh, goals, got to have good goals. So we're going to get stuff going here. Um, we got quite the walk back in the woods. And we're going to be cutting out some trails. And uh, cleaning up some trails and some camping spots. So here we go. spot where we're going to is kind of up this little trail and then down over that hill um 
and then we're gonna do a couple spots down this way. The, uh, there's a couple things that Josh is gonna hand cut on his way down there. I'm gonna turn the grinder on and do it a little bit, but there is some rock on this road, some surge. I don't know if you can see that, but there is some rock on the road, so I really don't wanna mulch in the middle of the road just to keep from tearing up teeth. So I'm gonna go down there and start roughing out and Josh is gonna meet me down there. Heading that way. set up there's a nice little creek runs all along there we're not going to go up to the edge of the creek we're going to stay off it a few feet but we're just going to kind of open this up right here um nothing big maybe starting from right here going over somewhere in this area just place they can pull their uh they got like a side-by-side -side and golf cart and stuff they can come down here and do some camping and come back here in the woods nice and peaceful out here we did, me and Josh, when we walked down here, we did spook a nice uh, deer. We're good.
so it's been a while since we've ran this machine and I'm just gonna do a once over on it just make sure nothing's leaking looks good make sure everything's running good with it it's been a great machine i love my asvs i would i would not buy anything else if there was something better out there i would probably have it but <laughs> as far as for mulching this is a great great mulching machine absolutely love it um you cannot beat the ride of it it is so smooth in the woods um running over sticks and roots and stumps completely different than grading completely different I'm not gonna lie I'm if, if I was in just grading business or something like that I probably would not have this machine but since we do a little bit of everything this thing works great for us primarily mulching is what we do and uh, you know we run two of these things and I love them absolutely love them this one's got about 3200 hours on it and I have replaced this drive motor that drive motor one or two hoses under the cab maybe one and we put a new tracks and some some new roll bogies on it at 2000 hours and put a new squirrel cage on it and then right at 3200 hours we had to put the wiring harness on. So what happened was, I'm really not sure if it was my fault or what happened, but I had a big grapple full of material. I was going down a hill, and it was kind of all dragging out the sides, you know how it does. And uh, I was going down a hill, I had it too high, the whole machine tipped forward. When it tipped, when it tipped forward, and it wasn't that big a deal. It, it went forward, I lowered the arm, and it went back down. But it was a hard hit when it went down. A very hard hit. Um, uh, let's say my hat hit the glass. Uh, you know, it was pretty, uh, <laughs> it was a pretty ab abrupt stop. Um, so I, I lowered the arm, which is no big deal. I lowered the arm, the machine went back to level. I was like, oh, good grief, that was stupid. You know, it's my mistake operator error of course and then i kept going a few more feet and a code went off Are you kidding me and it was the death header code which what it was saying um so what it does is it tells how much depth is in the tank and it tells the computer how much is in there you know half empty whatever so i was like oh great so i thought what happened whenever i tipped so far up you know it, it flashed that nothing was in there and then it went back down it kind of jarred something around so that's what we thought it was was i how how hard it hit and everything was something to do with uh that depth i only had about 30 percent in the tank and so if you go all the way up it would be 
empty. But um, we uh, so many hours of I try to fix it. I, I would buy a part, try this, try that. Um, I was on the phone with ASV, um, CCE, their mechanic, and my brother's mechanics. Just you know, you get something, you try it, you hope it works. It didn't work. You know, back and forth for about two months, and then we finally came down to uh, it was uh, the wiring harness, um, which that's what we were afraid. Somewhere in the wiring harness, a wire got cut on uh, uh, I think the can two side or something like that, the low voltage side, uh, which relays back to the ECM and computer. Anyways, it. I called up ASV. Uh, thank you so much, ASV, for helping us out with the uh, uh, new wiring harness. We got it up to CCE and they put it in. I think it takes about 16, 18 hours to put it in. And they put it in in uh, two, three days, head back to us. So here we go. Hopefully, she's running good. I did not get any of that on video. It was just one of those things where I'm very frustrated with. You know, is it going to work? Oh, I think I got it. Um, let me know if you guys like watching that kind of content. I like filming it. Um, most of the time, it, if I'm very frustrated or <laughs> things aren't going well, sometimes I won't film um, some of that behind the scenes stuff. But let me know if you guys are interested in seeing any of that. I'll be, uh, I'll start doing a little bit more of that filming. Maybe add uh, another video out a week or something like that. But let us know. Leave a comment below.
that should work as far as uh, getting it roughed out. Roughing out is when we do our first step with the mulcher. So we go through and we get pretty much everything we can as far as uh, in the area that we need to cut. Um, that doesn't mean anything like this here. We'll hand cut that. I don't want to get the grinder that close to cut in case of damaging that tree. So we'll hand cut that. Like these vines and stuff like that, these branches will hand cut, clean up around these things here. This stuff here, like we'll hand cut all that and then take the mini excavator. Josh is making his way uh, down the road right now. I heard him, he put a saw right there. So he can hand cut everything up to here. And then, um, and then we'll take this stuff that fell off the edges, uh, kind of this stuff here, like that stuff, that junk there we'll pull it in to the center and grind it up you could spend a lot of time um you could spend a lot of time trying to get that stuff to fall in uh in an area where you can grind it you know i don't want to leave that that just looks trashy and you know for the customer we don't it's not how we work we 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 get that out of there either one um i would have tried to cut it with the mulcher and face it out this way swung it out this way if i was doing a very long line i could i could swing stuff in but as tight as this little area is it's hard to do that it can be done but um this this isn't like three days worth of work or anything you know this is just a little job so uh when josh comes here he'll run around this real quick pull it in then we'll mulch it up final pass on it and then we'll work our way out of there So when I say roughing out, that's what I'm talking about is that first pass.
All right, well, that should do it. On this section, we got two more like this. Um, I went and walked it with the customer. All right, there you have it. Little camping area. So they'll probably do a little fire pit down here. Uh, she said maybe be able to put a tent out or picnic table, something like that. Pretty cool. All right, let's go do some more. All right, we are down here at our uh, second and third location. What we got here is a little bit of just, there's a little tiny flat area right here and then it kind of dips down and then continues across. There's another little road right there. And then we got another spot, very similar to the first one we just did. So uh, I'm gonna, and then I just hit a little bit of junk behind me, but nothing major. Wanna get this roughed out? guys ever had one of them days where it's going really good and then something stupid happens uh, what do we got here looks like phone wire oh my goodness mess hey it's better than a cable like a big old thick logging cable it's like a skitter cable we've hit those before there was some other metal and trash here, and I scraped or pulled it out and threw it over there. Uh, we'll get it pulled out. It's not that big a deal. Just checking my area. I mean, usually I'll do a quick scan over, but you can waste a lot of time walking in the woods and looking for rocks and metal and. Uh, Oh, I kind of jumped away. All right, let's see if I can get this thing pulled out of here. Shining back with all that wire. <laughs> What's that doing out here in the woods? <laughs> Not too sure. Just cutting. <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy! It was like instantly. As soon as I wanted it to, boom! Ah, dang it! That's what I said. At least it's not cable. Like cable, cable. It's phone line, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't assume. I'm not. So it looks like. What are you doing out here in the woods? It's Monday.
Gotta have multi tools. Gotta have it. Must have. coming pretty good making headway <laughs> hey, no no the red <laughs> wire the red one, the red one. <laughs> 80 billion wires later which wire to cut i said the red one North Greenville is not <laughs> done that phone service. <laughs> Man, anybody know what happened to the internet up there? My, my landline ain't working.
Yeah, we can work with that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Well, we got it. Little mess. Alright, so um this little section over here shouldn't take us too long. Finish. Josh is hitting the last finishing touches with the pole saw. That's where we came in at. This is one little spot right through here so they can get along and see the creek. Josh is, uh, he went up this trail. This is the way we kind of come in, but it loops up around. So he went up there and just made sure nothing was sticking out too crazy in the trail. So we're going to, um, back drag this out of here and start up the trail.
this area is finished off. Uh, Josh is just touching up a few things up there along the road. Um, it's just a couple branches in this old logging road or something like that here where we're gonna, uh, he's gonna break it down and just shove it in the woods um, or cut it or whatever he's gonna do. But it wasn't hardly anything, just a few things here and there. Gotta get paid. <laughs> Customer said she's gonna leave it out. Right over here for me. Said it was gonna be in a bag. Look at this. Oh man. What do we got here? Got some cowboy candy. Okay. It's like some pickle relish or something. Got some. Ooh. Organic blueberry jam. All right. Tis the season. Here, check it out, Josh. Got some goodies. Right on. Cowboy, what is it? Not sure what that is. Cowboy candy? Cowboy candy. Think it's hot? <laughs> what and a nice lady. Wow. <laughs> Blueberry jam. That's what I'm talking about. You got that? Okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little video and uh, you never know what's gonna hit in the woods. So, uh, yeah, that's, that was a fun little job. We're up here in North Greenville, uh, Tigerville area. So, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. And uh, thanks again. Have a good one, y'all.